Hi, good morning. Nice to see you again and nice to meet you. My name is Luis San Joaquin. I am a Spanish vet. I am the co-owner of Thinking Pig. And first of all, I want to say thank you very much, Beringer Ingelheim Korea, and a special thanks to Yusik for inviting me to participate in this meeting. And okay, now I want to show you in several videos the, the different parts and the different areas of the production. The name of this farm is Mas Rovira Farm. This is a farm with 1,000, excuse me, 1,400 sows with Danish lines, Danish genetic. And last year, 2020, we produced more than 39 winning, pickle, winning pickles per sow per year. And I have divided my presentation in four points. The first point is the quarantine facilities. With the management we are doing with the gills from the quarantine facilities until the farrow. The second part of these videos are the boar stimulation, artificial insemination, and the management with our sows, because our sows stay in, st in crates the first 28 days of gestation, and after this period we move to the parks, to the gestation parks. The third part of this presentation are related with farrowing facilities and the management we are doing to win more than 16 piglets per, per sow per farrow. Not all the piglets are winning, winning with the sow. Some of these piglets are winning with different management, especially nursery sows. And the fourth part of these videos is related with the nursery facilities. Now, please follow me to visit this farm. This is the second video after the introduction video. Okay. Now we are in the quarantine facilities. Here we receive our animals with 12, 15, and 18 weeks of age. We receive animals directly from Denmark. And here we are working in these facilities to improve the health status of our animals and to start to work in the, in the productive area too because for me the quarantine period is very important to work in the acclimatization of our animals when we are talking about the different diseases and to start to work with the productive area to improve the performance of our animals. And this is the main reason for what we are working with these two different feeders. In the first moment, we feed our animals with this system, okay, as you can see here, because we are able to improve the, the growth of our animals in the first week after the arrival, but after that, to reduce the growth, to increase the longevity of our sows, and to increase the performance, and to increase the retention in the third farrow, what is very important for me to increase the longevity of the sows, and the numbers, and the health status of the farm, we are working with these feeders, okay? Because with, with these feeders, we are able to reduce the growth, and to increase the longevity, because we are able to reduce the problems, mainly lamines in these genetics, okay? Here you can see the different facilities, okay? And our animals stay very quiet in these facilities. And we are moving to the crates after several weeks staying here with all the vaccine programs, but here our gills don't see any boar. The boar start, the, the boar contact start in the other facilities after this health status acclimatization, okay? But here you can see the different gills, okay? And in these facilities, in these facilities, we are always working all in, all out. It's very important for us to stop the contact between the different batches, okay? These are the quarantine facilities. And the most important and the, the main difference with other quarantines is that we have two systems to feed our animal that is very uncommon in Spain. Now we are in the, after the acclimatization, after the quarantine facilities, we move the gills to this park. And in this park, we start with the boar stimulation to detect the estrus, to start with the artificial insemination. After we detect here the heats, we introduce our animals in the crates and we never inseminate after at least the second hit. Okay, here you can see that we follow the management with this feeder 
and we increase the feet intake here to start with the feet, okay? But here you can see we are always working with a good number of kills because we are not very high in the replacement percentage, we are in the 47%, with the Danish genetic is a very good number, at least in Spain. We are in 8% of mortality when we are talking about sows, and we have very good numbers, and this is the main reason for what we don't need more than 50% of, of replacement percentage. And after this management, after this board heat detection with the board stimulation, we are moving the animals to the crates. Here you can see more parts with pills that we have moved in from the quarantine facilities. Here you can see the boards because we are working with a good numbers of boards, okay? These are the board facilities and sometimes we are using for six sows, okay? But in the, in the main of the cases, many cases are occupied by, by boards, as you can see, because for us it's very important the boar stimulation to start with the heat detection. And here you can see the animals, okay? These are the different facilities, okay? Where we are working with the heat detection, with the artificial insemination, and our gills stay in these facilities until day 28, 28 of the station. And after this period, we are moving to the parks, okay? You can see here the animals, with the feeders, that is very important, with the lights, with the light. We are working with a light intensity of 200 lux, what is very important for to stimulate the puberty, to stimulate the heat detention, and for our work, it's easier to work with light. Because here you can see more animals, okay? Because here is the three weeks period from the first heat detection until the artificial insemination, and the period from the artificial insemination until day 28. 28. This is the last video of the first part. And now, after the heat detection, the artificial insemination, and after the period that our gills stay in the crate, we are moving our animals to this part. We are working in several facilities, but in all the cases, we are working in small groups with four or five animals. And these animals stay here until we move to the far wing facilities. You can see that it's a, a new farm, it's an old farm, but with a very good management and very good numbers. Another very important thing we are doing with our feed that is that we feed with a special feed for, for this cycle. Our gills in the first cycle are separated from the multiparous sows, and is the reason for what we are feeding with a special feed for these animals because they are growing very fast in the first cycle and we want to improve the, the growth of these animals, the management and the production of these animals to stimulate and to increase the lifetime of these animals, decreasing the mortality and increasing the productivity and reducing of course the replacement percentage that I said to you before, it's very important for us, if it's possible, maintain low to 50%, okay? Here, this is the last video of the first part, the management of the gills from the acclimatization period until the farm.